Thank you very much. Thank you. Shall we be seated? Thank you. God bless you. We thank God for today. We bless him for keeping us alive till this day and hour that we can be together and celebrate the name of the Lord and also uh, give thanks to him for all he is doing in our lives. Um, I would like us to uh, get a, a Zoom, um, uh, Zoom number so that we can be together on, on Tuesday on Zoom. And now we want to change, switch from uh, the telephone line to Zoom. And this is going to be a temporary Zoom for uh, Tuesday. And the, the following week, we are going to give you a permanent number that we can use frequently, uh, even with our fasting times that we can uh, uh, use. Uh, please, oh, um, the Zoom, Zoom number, please. Um, Obed, did you give the, the Zoom number two? Where is it? This is not the Zoom number. Um, okay, those who have pens, please, uh, you can put this down. We're going to use this on on Tuesday for a prayer time. Oh, come on. A lot of things. Yeah, um, the Zoom number, the ID is 523 400 2277. The Zoom ID is 523400 And the code is 552336. 552336. Uh, we're going to use this code to access on Zoom on Tuesday for our prayer meeting. And uh, I think we are going to use the same throughout the week for our fasting and prayer. Okay. Uh, I would like us to meet um, 30 minutes to one hour every day uh, during this fasting time. So please do your best to join us. It's 9 to 10. 9 to 10 throughout. Okay. 9 to 10. So please. Just uh, join us uh, in prayer. We, we all have to pray. The Bible says we should pray without season. So uh, we shouldn't uh, cease prayer. Because whenever we call on the name of the Lord, uh, he answers us. Amen. We thank God for his blessing upon us as individuals. Uh, he still keeps us alive and protects us from every harm's way. So today we have experienced and we have all witnessed so many people celebrating their birthdays today. And uh, we see that the generation is growing. Oh, those who are celebrating their birthday are after 60, or <laughs> not before, <laughs> around 60. So we see how the generation is growing. And uh, I would like to invite all those who are celebrating their birthday to come together that we can pray with them and strengthen them. After 60, it's uh, a turbulence. Uh, 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 what do I say? <laughs> After 60, sometimes it's turbulence. It's, sh it's shaking. And uh, we are going to pray God's strength, divine power to be established on their lives so that they will grow gracefully. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, 
Ndiye bebo mpaye adofu muma ya uh, yeni ya yediye bebde yinina sorry mbrana yinina yenso yensa emo mpaye na yensire unyami shira ene na dom ema ankura nkubia unyami shira yen unyami etine ni ama yen uh, aboye humbayi ewo na domu saanu um, busumi ya ye augusti ya ichwe mwinyina wa Udi ubevdi ewo mumbia no sorebra na yenye na ye mumpaya. All those who celebrated your birthday in the month of August, I would like you to come in front so that we will all pray together. The Lord has been faithful. The Lord has been good to us. He always protects his children. You know, leading us in all our way is not something that we can joke about. It is his grace, his power that has brought us this far in our lives. Church, shall we all be on our feet as we pour the blessing of God upon his own children who are celebrating their birthday today. Some are 60, some are 65 and 60, you know, around, around 61, 62, 63. Some people don't want you to figure out the exact, that is why I'm mentioning so many <laughs> so many of these dates. So we want to thank God and appreciate him for what he has done. So let's stretch our hands on our loved ones and pray a prayer of blessing upon them. Let's give glory to the Lord for their lives and pray that the blessing of God will continue to be their portion in their lives. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Heavenly Father. We bless you for the opportunity given to your people, O oh God, to live under your own pavilion for all these years. Your favor, O oh God, has been upon them. Your loving kindness has surrounded them. O oh Lord, your peace has been their portion. Your son health, O oh Lord, has held them till this day. We want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. As we bless your holy name, we commit them into your hands. We pray, O oh God, that your grace will continue to abound on them and that your peace will continue to be their portion. I pray, Holy Spirit of God, uh, as they count on you, O oh Lord, you will multiply their blessings in this life. Father, as they grow, let them grow gracefully, O oh Lord, under your own pavilion. Take away weakness, take away sickness, take away anything, O oh God, that will burden them in their lives. O oh God, let your burdens be light in your presence. Let the power of the Holy Spirit continue to keep them individually. Let them hold on to you, O oh God, in faith, knowing that you are the only God. You are the only God who keeps your people alive. You are the only God. You are the only God who sustains your people. Let your people, O oh God, look to you, the author and finisher of their faith. Never allow them to give up in their lives, O oh Lord, even in time of difficulties. Give them hope. In the name of Jesus Christ, in time of trouble, give them hope. Let them hope in you, O oh Lord. Let them trust in you all the days of their lives. Heavenly Father, I pray for your children today. Please build a wall of fire around them. And keep them in your own perfect peace. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Congratulations. Congratulations. I'm going to minister to you um, from the word of God. And before I do that, I want to announce to you that um, uh, my wife lost her mother um, last Friday morning. And um, I decided to give you her number. Most of you would like to contact her and sympathize with her. It's a very difficult time for her. So um, can you please put on the number? Um, so those who want to contact with her, even though she is not here, I know she's connected to most of you. And uh, she feels part of our church. She's not out of the church. So you can... Um, please... Take her number, and those who would love to call her can call her and sympathize with her. Um, my mother-in-law is around 65 years. Uh, sorry, 80, 95 years. <laughs> 95 years. Yeah, and uh, on the 25th of uh, December, 
Uh, she had a small accident and broke her hip. Uh, she fell. When you force her here, say, I have a problem. Yeah, so Dr. Seneca saw Muntimin Yafi Mano on the horse, I could see so very recover, but uh, it's unfortunate that he has to leave very early. So I would like that you pray, you pray with, with her. Okay? Good. Let us pray together. Heavenly Father, in the name of Christ our Lord, I thank you and I bless you for another opportunity given to us as a church to be together, worship and praise your name, celebrate your name, and also, Lord, take a, a word of uh, uh, encouragement to Lord from your word that we can move forward e even in this uh, life that is crooked and perverted. I pray, Holy Spirit, that you will speak to our heart, O oh Lord, and build us strong in, in the face of every opposition that confronts our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray, even for those who are sick among us, those who are weak among us, the Lord, your power will settle on them and your healing will be their portion. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, speak to us and energize us. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. I started speaking to you about burdens, the burdens that people are, are carrying in this life. I took my time to explain to you the burdens are inevitable. No matter who you are, no, no matter what class you find yourself, there will be some kind of burden. Burdens differ uh, from one person to other as we carry them. Um, from that point, I came to talk about rainbow uh, as the promise of God. Okay, The promise of God in a rainbow. We all see rainbows uh, up there. Uh, whenever it rains or after rain, when the sun rays uh, and, and, the, uh, and the mix uh, just get entangled, you see uh, a very beautiful rainbow. I took my time to talk to you about rainbow, and uh, I told you that the rainbow speaks uh, to us of the power of God. Uh, God has the ultimate power that nobody can challenge him. I also told you that the rainbow speaks to us of the perfection of God. God is perfect and he knows what he is doing and nobody challenges what he does uh, in, in our lives or in this world. He is the ultimate uh, power, the authority, and uh, he has um, authority to do whatever he wants to do. He is a perfect God. He never uh, does anything amiss. Whatever he does is perfect. And Aye, no kwa for no nyame ade bia oye eye hallelujah ye san e kasai se eh ye hu nyankonton a e kire se o nyankopon e bo she bia ra wa she eye ne kure god has promises for his people and uh whenever we see the rainbow it speaks to us about the great promises of god he never never turn back on his promises he is always true to whatever he has promised. Hallelujah. The onyamia she eboshi bi onyamia she afa ehono eno chile se ebebom. Onyamia she noa eni nimbane na se fwa bo se onfen sujiri en se wa mubi imu. Okay. Sa anu nyankontano ebra wa mubi humbiyan e kai wa mu e wa bosha onyankopon a she e wa wa mubre mu. Sa anu na yensu su se yeni cho nyankontano soa Hallelujah. Psalm, Psalm 89, verse 34. He said, My covenant I will not break. Hallelujah. The covenant of God with us, he will never break, nor alter the things that is gone out of my lips. 
whatever has come out of the lips of God, God will never utter it. He will not retract it. Hallelujah. Asimbia wo nyame aka fa ye ho no. Sa wo ya bofra sa wo ye panyini sa wo ye dan. Asimbia wo nyame aka fa wo ho no. Ontwe nsa na chi da. Ebebam e wo abrabo mu na wo be hu wo nyankopon ani mu nyam. Hallelujah. Eni ti de e ka no se e wo mu se how wa asasi so amane e wa asasi so ye so ani so ye so ni so ade e ne nso nyame bo hye biara e fa wo ho no. Ebebam on your mean shall so be nanti or bre a how any a money muda. Yen you know, my dear say, will be our summer walk and or hen a chia a bra or femu or hen a chia money or femu. But we are no more the same. God's grace has, has changed our life. On your mere domas a sire a brabo, on your made yes be a pa as a train and radiano. Wait, I say, on your me boshi be a washa fire hono, a bebem, hallelujah. Maybe a nura one who is a. But it be an abosha and yamia sheno, no mirano, and yan soya. The time, you know, always we have to think about the timing. Um, we, we, we always think, uh, you know, uh, of God's time as, um, you know, uh, 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 different from our time because He knows what is the best for our lives, okay? And sometimes we want to force God to, uh, to fit in our time. No. God being perfect knows the right time that He has set for all of us. Onu ni nimre pa wajeshe edi amaye na nimre no suwa bibibia ni huwa ibeti mi asasano. Hallelujah! Our God is a great God, and He keeps His promises. Maybe you don't know that God has promises concerning your life. He has a covenant with you. Onyame ni owa pam ebi ya winim. Kainasem, oh kainasema, ube hu apama hudwa wo nyame ni wowa. Building that connection with him, you will realize that covenant that he has entered into with you. And when you begin to know and realize that covenant, you will not, you will not lose heart. Hallelujah. Um, I also read to you from Numbers chapter 23, 19, that God is not a man that you should lie. Man lies to us always. Man deceives us always. But the scripture says, God is not a man that you should lie. Okay? Or a son of man that you should change his mind. Has he said it? And will he not do it? Has he spoken and will he not fulfill it? This is it. Church, God is not a man. And he doesn't lie to us. Whatever he has said about you will come to pass. But many a times when he says something about us, we try to retract from whatever he has said. We try to distance ourselves from whatever he has said about us. But if we will stay in contact with him and maintain that contract that he has signed with us, the covenant that he has engaged in with us, we will continue to see his glory. Hallelujah. His promises are true. He never changed his mind. But we change often. But church, I have come to tell you that God has great promises for us. And if we will stay close to him, all whatever he has said about us will come to pass in our lives. Hallelujah. God will fulfill every promise that he has made with us. Every promise that he has made, he will see to work it out for it to come to pass. Church, what promise has he made to us? In the first place, I'm talking to you about the peace of God. You see, God has given us a promise to give us peace in our lives. Many people think that peace comes from riches or accumulation of material goods. But that is not it. Peace don't come from material goods. Peace comes from God. When we stay close to him, when we stay close to him, 
we will enjoy the peace that he wants us to enjoy in life. Many of us are still, uh, you know, stressing ourselves. We are still stressing ourselves because we think that we can get peace from the things that we accumulate. And near my hood, I hear talk, we get bad 10, 20, never wear you mu, na mook, a long mook, short mook. Yeah, and also Abuano or Hoko, Genoa, no asri, a Drew Debia, Uko Genoa, Mook, no cranty mink, Rico. And you into ma, oh, one you into my bad thing. Yabuan you into mano, Yabua Lace, I know a ha, Yabua Holland, I know a ha, Holland. And Ansana Holland, ya so abaha. Sign your mind, you know, to me fast and give him ray. Your fool, sign your ma, yenya. Ya buan wa ya kuma shemunu en a dia niji ebe breye. Nan su we nyina mfa niji emre ye. Hallelujah. Ba ye pe niji ya eti asia, a niji ya etim hoda, ewo asumjie, ya eti asia, asumjie ewo kristomu. Hallelujah. It's only in Christ that we can find peace. Peace that exists. Peace that lives forever. Church, our businesses cannot bring us peace. Even instead, it brings us more stress. It brings us more stress. Those of you who have bought some shares or have, you know, put some money in savings, sometimes if the money is too big, you panic. Now, say COVID for for us and buy a bear and day. Now, say market and go yeah a bear and day. You see. Ye si kaka kraye wono. Kakraye di ibe kwa gana. Ye di eko ye ii. Na si ke ise e folwa ye be ene den. Sa ni ye panike. Asum vye ni be biya. Ba yesu kan se mbi. In John chapter 14 verse 27. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I don't give to you as the world gives. Do not let your heart be troubled. And do not be afraid. You see, as long as we have Christ with us, there will be peace with us. Because God, through his son, gives us peace. And the peace that Christ offers is not, the, uh, it's not like that of the world. And he said, we are Edema. We are saying, we are not making one summary. Moko, a hodo, and to my hodo, we cast a hodo, and no, 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 depend on material things what we see but God's peace is goes beyond that hallelujah the peace that Christ offers goes beyond that. Asimbiye ena Christo edemaye. And ti se di ewi ase dema. Vi ase asimbiye ebi oha ofu se ye duyani a wo di ne man asimbiye. Koto duye ni ni eman a wabwa anu a wawwe no. O ni mse enu ne di hao ebe san bere no. O ye ni di ni en nom ni en ko. Fine. And fast in VM row, and then at the Oberco Hospital room. And in the answer, who said, and you could to Jeno, and you answer, and yet you are in a dias in Vieba. Samson and yet a tardier, if it's a tardier, now better turn up or in the Nechina, Safashi in a bitrum, and now a bitrum, Cabasta and a nechum. Oh, this time you and Shasta are tied, our muni a jasher, I feel our munaka them. You see the point. And until the Amepasa Michelon said, Asumvie eni wi ase niyama mu. Asumvie ewo kristo mu. Hallelujah. Onu nwa shi embo so obema ya asumvie. Di edi ya ni hununu edi ayem shishie ebreye. Vasi edi ya ni hun kristo. Eni ne bosha wa shi ya niya. Edi ya ni jie eni asumvie ene bebreye. Hallelujah. Psalm 29 verse 11. Psalm 29, verse 11 says, The Lord gives strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people with peace. The Lord gives strength to his people and blesses his people with peace. 
This is what God offers. He offers us peace. If you don't have peace, I've come to tell you that it is only him who can give you peace. He alone offers peace to us that no one else can give us. I don't know where you tap peace from in your life. I don't know. You see, I told you about the king who wanted a, a very nice portrait of peace. Hallelujah. What peace do you have? You see, there are so many things going on around us. Wind, baby, from a baby, near boy, a humu to coba. Nahina Ujina. U sister, yes, in your name, and from a baby, Nabo. Dear Hina, too, was he baby. Dear Hina, challenge you. What, what, what kind of wind is blowing against you? And what kind of wind is changing your mind? Keep on changing your mind every day. You see, if we will look at the things that are going on around us, we will shift our position every day. Hallelujah. There are some things, and it might be a brilliant yes, yes. Yeah, if you say a bit here for you, so. Then so see, Gina would give you more radimun, and assume you eat and I and so on. A baby chemo. The betray and you have any castle, oh, way by and so on to me and yea, she. That is it. Hallelujah. Do you have peace? It's part of the promise that he has given us. Bosha Christo Ashayeno, Asun Vie Kahobi, or Sima Sum Viena Medemamo. Christ has peace for us. But many a times we don't engage in the peace that he has for us. We want to do our own thing in order to attain that peace. But that peace is not from the circle of Christ. He said the peace that he offers is not like that which the world gives to us. Asumbia Christo de Mayeno and Tise de Viase Ede Mayen. Hallelujah. What say and Bosse of a Mayen? Asumbia. Or say, Masumbia and Amede Mamo. Asumbia Mede Mamono and Yedi Viase Ede Ma. And until and mawa kumenti. Whenever you see the rainbow, think about the peace of God. That transcends all understanding. Whenever you see the rainbow, either in the morning or in the afternoon. You see, one thing about rainbow, 
So who rainbow? Dear now, yeah. No more baby Tianka. Oh, be any wa who rainbow, no way you come under, Anna. Or pursue beef your own. Oh, yeah, 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 Anna. It's natural. It's natural. Oh, be any wa who rainbow, or you come say no, Hessa, no, a circa cra, no, a heifer, no, a dabby dabby. I am natural. Oh, be cra, or why we name now to me, friends. Oh, look at this. So beautiful. When God prepares you and make you beautiful, you can't keep it to yourself. <laughs> okay? You can't keep it to yourself. You will, lo you will love that people will see it. And truly, if the peace that God offers to you is really from him, people will see it and testify. Oh, ababai wafasa diemu onsuhe anyanefi. He is so beautiful. What does he come akama? You see the point? Oh, I am not sure. Now, no, we are who we are. We see you, Christ, to me. We are see you, we are me, boss. Now, any ma, any kuye, you be who. Now, why? Yes, be a wash. That's be a person or so. She said, "Yeah, Ben is person or so." Tia. Now, for you who are, yes, eh. Now, we there. Adina atiti na ma ayi ya kan ni say hard ye no rolling sina ayi no ho ho that be you don't allow circumstance to overwhelm you but even though you go through the valley of the shadow of death you will not fear anything you will stand tall you stand strong and go through it hallelujah with the peace of God with you. This is it. God promises us of peace when we put our trust in him. You see, in the first place, he promises us of, uh, of his peace. My peace I give to you. But why is it not that we who call ourselves Christians are not experiencing this peace? Because we don't put our trust in him. When we begin to put our trust in the Lord, the peace that he has promised us will be our portion. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Yes. His peace is for those who trust in him. Do you trust the Lord? When the situation comes, do you breathe in and out and say, Lord, everything is in your hands. I trust you that you will see me through this situation. Or you start to wail and, and, and yell and, and shout and, and say whatever you want to say. Many a times your own words are breaking you. And some of our people are not going to be able to do it. And some of our people are not going to be able to do it. You are so much different. But you are so much different. So we did. We will share with him more. Now, cause we will share with him more. But soon, we will share with him more. So as soon be in a day or day. Hallelujah. When you put your trust in Him, Isaiah chapter twenty-six, verse three, He says, "You will keep in perfect peace all who trust in Him." Hmm? You will keep in perfect peace all who trust in You. All whose thoughts are fixed on you. Trust in the Lord always. For the Lord, for the Lord God is the eternal rock. If you put your confidence in the Lord, if you put your trust in the Lord, peace will be your, your portion. He will keep you in his perfect peace if you trust him. But we are not at peace with ourselves. Why? Because we don't trust him. We don't trust that he can do it. Many a times we trust in people. Many a times we trust in some medication. We trust in un, you know, unnecessary things. But if we will trust in the Lord, oh, he will keep us in perfect peace. The adjective is perfect. The perfect peace. All the peace that we pursue in our lives, 
are not perfect. But if we will trust the Lord, he will always and always give us the perfect peace that we need. Hallelujah. Psalm 119 verse 165 says, Great peace have those who love your Lord. So if you love the Lord, your God, you have great peace. Even the storm will rise against you. You see, for example, when Jesus was in the boat, <laughs> when the storm was raging against him and his disciples, we see the difference. Jesus was, as, was asleep, right? Jesus was sleeping. But the disciples were perplexed. The disciples were restless. Why? They were looking at the situation. As young for no more hen ye coso. And so as rochin air bon on from an air bon and no no more hair and in tina no my confuse. My yes you know what that cata de ni into a hu into ne hu ni mo. Or sorry ye no, when him so would to me one from an so into a cassacher and from an Hallelujah. So what you will Christ to so on shed ye coso won chain. If your mind is stayed on Christ, you will not look at the, the things that are going on around you. You will look at him, the author and finisher of our faith. Hallelujah. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Huh? The peace of God transcends all understanding. Christo, emu asum vieno, e brunti asienye naso. Na wonga. A dwell radi, no fa a radimra, and no. One must soon ye a yakasia a sine a dienina. Na bibi beer any who are a bit me at two ones in Tidria. Nothing can make them stumble. Sana, Psalm 119. Wang ya. Or mudi or more to a radi asso, a radimra sonno. Or must soon ye a yakasia. Now, be 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 anywhere at two or more centidia. Nothing keep them stumble. I don't know the kind of peace that you have in your life. Is your peace superficial? Do you enjoy the peace <laughs> that is temporary? Or you are enjoying the deep peace, the perfect peace, the great peace that comes from God. If it is your house that you have built, count it out. No, Mudi Kasi died in 1990, 1980. In the 80s, Satam and Nipasha Sebaha. Nenti, Simon Musi C. Dine. My Franco compared to uh, 2023, the Anna Moshe. Is it the point? Yeah, by her, you know, oh, be Korean and Dan or the children. Oh, so for me, then you know the Achille. And the confess our food to no never better will be. They make a no groom. Yeah. An architect, you know, we are sharp for check and the architect. And don't you say you can't rely on material things. There are no fools say a yet top on a ranking high no and there a bottom. Until no a dying muna when you was um diana. Daddy. No. I've explained so many things to you today. I want your faith, your hope, and everything to be fixed. On Christ, because He gives us peace, and His peace is eternal. His peace never fades away. It's strong and solid. As soon as Christ will demire no, empa, empa, sasa ne kano, empa imu imuntu. 
a gun, I'll call us soon, Tim Massin. Woman, you did bet three hours. I'll be calling a call and in a to call. A more to Christo Nasum Gio de Mayeno. It remains the same. Hallelujah. It remains the same. What is the assurance I'm giving you here today? Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 to 7. Philippians. He said, don't be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. You see, what am I talking about? We, we, have, uh, we are in this world. In this world, we have several situations, okay? We have several things going on around us. And sometimes it causes us to panic. Sometimes it causes us, to, okay, to, to lose our God. But the Apostle Paul is telling us that we don't have to be anxious. We don't have to be over anxious. Okay? We don't have to be perplexed in our life. Okay. And if you have to But to me, they can't do anything. You understand that? Many a times we allow fear to engulf us, and that is breaking us. That is what is breaking us every day in our life. But he said, the trouble will come. But when the trouble comes, don't think about it. But instead of sit, sitting down to think and be, being anxious, he said, begin to pray. Pray. Prayer changes things. That is what we are going to engage in this week. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. We are going to see the fake face of, of, of the Lord. We're going to seek the face of the Lord. We're going to talk to the Lord. In whatever situation you find yourself in, we're going to talk to the Lord. And uh, you see, when we begin to talk to the Lord and, 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 and reason with the Lord, the Bible says, come let us reason together so we can reason to the Lord with, with the Lord. Okay. Tell your petition to him. And when you begin to do that, he says, the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will be your portion. Hallelujah. When the situation comes and your mind goes straight to the Lord and realize that it is only him who can change your situation, and begin to pray and bring your supplication and dialogue with him, then his peace will flow. Many of us want to enjoy the peace of God, but we don't want to talk to him. We don't want to pray. You see the point? We don't want to pray, but we want to enjoy the peace of God. How possible? It is not possible. It is not possible. If you want the true peace of God, maintain your continuous connection with him. His covenant, he will not break. Maintain that covenant and be in tune with him. Pray every day. He says, and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. The peace of God. You see, the worldly peace don't surpass any understanding, but the peace of God surpasses all understanding. Christomu and Ijenu nebro adjunene nti asiesu. We are seeing Ijenu di ase oh we we just see kana no hotel no nyano ano. Ijenu na ati asie. Huh? Oh we ati adimu nubi a we nyana wadi ya ya ati asie yinimbebi ifre. But Christo asunvi nu di. Nipa dig deep, but they can't understand it. Do you understand what I'm talking about? People would think, how come? How? 
Is it that he has changed? How is it that he is always lovely? How is it that he is always happy? How, you know, how and the how and the how will come. It transcends all understanding. Oh, we are not going to you. We cry, we ajuma cry, na juma wa ye nyo. And so, a di enti na nene jesa. A di enti, a di enti, ya pasi ye hunu mu. Di ewi ase de mani di ye hunu intem. E bi kura iti me kaso wa jisike dro saka wano no. You know, ya ti ase ye dada. Oh, dan ba kuo ti misi ye nano hotene, ya ti ase ye. Ba wo di ye ne di ye, e bro ajwene en enti ase ye so. Do you want to have that experience? Maintain that connection with God. Whenever you see the rainbow, you have to know that his covenant, he will never break. His promises are yes and amen. God bless you as you stand up for us to pray. I want us to pray together. I want us to pray together. We are talking about God's, God's promises concerning our lives. His covenant, he will not break. I don't know what you're going through in your life. Is it sickness? Is it something that you're afraid of? Is it something that the enemy is using to scare you? I want us to pray this hour and call upon the name of the Lord and, uh, and remind him of his covenant. The covenant that will give you peace in your sleep. The covenant that will give you peace when you are awake. The covenant that will give you peace whenever you, you are. Begin to pray right now and speak to the Lord. Speak to the Lord your God. He is a faithful God. He offers us peace. He offers us peace. Ono no maya sumjie. Ono no maya sumjie. Ne ne na pama wani ya kono. Ene maya bambo. E maya nijie. Oh, wa wani ya mapabibri ya wasiye siye wa shishe edi amani ma. Oh, Christo eni ya mbutayin, Christo eni ya hain, Christo ni ya sunjie, mi pesa obo mpaye sabri, unye radinka sa, in your own way speak to the Lord, in your own way speak to the Lord, allow the Lord your God to know that you, he is faithful to you, he is ever faithful to stand with you in all your ways, in all the time, he never leave you are nor forsake you. His hand is still upon you. He will never, never turn his back on you. The world promises and fail. The world promises and they turn their back on us. But God is faithful that he never leave us nor forsake us. God is faithful.
about your promises. If they come to me, I will lie about your promises. I want you to commit yourself to him today and say, Lord, protect me in my sleep. Yes, protect me. Somebody will be asking, oh, why all these things? But sometimes I feel like we don't thank God enough. Many things that sometimes we trust God for, the keys are in our hands, but sometimes we don't even apply them. And I love how the message Bible puts it in, in the book of Psalms, I think 100. It says, enter with the password, thank you. Which means that the password I've always needed all this time was in my hand. All I needed to do is to show some gratitude. Sometimes I ask myself, God, why is Thanksgiving so important to you? And I realize that Thanksgiving is not for God. Most of the time it's for us. Have you realized that whenever we thank God, we receive. We give Him thanks and receive other things in return. But you realize that when we hold the Thanksgiving, which is the key, many things stop. And so sometimes the things that we are trusting Him for, the Bible says that when those nine left and one came back to say thank you to Jesus, I'm sure what he was saying in his mind was, don't they want to be made whole? Not that I really need this thanksgiving. He said, don't they want to be made whole? They thought this is it. And Jesus told that one, go, your faith has made you whole. Maybe that healing you thought you received, is not the complete package. But only if you will be grateful for that one. You'll be amazed at the many things that God intends to do for you. Can you just take one more minute and say thank you? There's a breakthrough you're trusting God for. But that thank you is about to unlock some doors. You'll be shocked. you leave here and say, oh, after tonight, God did some amazing things in my life. Oh, I say not things I've heard, but things that I've encountered and experienced that God is able to do, to do. He's able to do. He's a God of possibilities. Things that are impossible for men are the things that are God does with ease. I know you came for a recording but listen there's something happening here God gave me a word for somebody that after tonight the things are about to shift but only if you will acknowledge that he God is the source of the things he said I will do exceedingly not only exceedingly but I will do abundantly above all that you can ever think or imagine come on somebody open your mouth there's a breakthrough waiting for you but that breakthrough needs your heart of thanksgiving. Kademono shikamada hoki. Ipatodi atoli mamasha. I wish God will open your eyes to see what is happening in this place. Woo! Nadadaba katoli mabaha. Adia wa ya mami. Edoso. Many were the things. Onyami ufata.
opening in this room. Doors, 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 doors in lives. The end of our show. Oh, you've been trusting God for that opening, but He said only if you'll thank me. After tonight, after you've given me things, I'm about to open those doors up to you. I want to continue. My God is doing something in this place. Let's give it just two more minutes. Something is happening. Doors, doors, doors. I hear my spirit. Doors about to open. Some of you, it's scholarship. Some of you, there are places you are.